C-17 Globemaster III originated from the CX program, which was launched by the U.S. Air Force in 1979 to develop a new strategic airlifter that could replace the aging C-141 Starlifter and complement the larger C-5 Galaxy. The CX program aimed to produce an aircraft that could carry heavy and outsized cargo over long distances, as well as operate from short and austere runways. In 1981, McDonnell Douglas won the contract to design and build the CX, which was later named the C-17 Globemaster III after the previous piston-engined C-74 and C-124 Globemaster cargo planes. However, the development of the aircraft faced many technical and managerial challenges, such as wing design, flight control system, cost overruns, schedule delays, and quality issues. The program was threatened with cancellation several times by Congress and the Department of Defense. In 1993, after a series of reviews and negotiations, the Air Force and McDonnell Douglas agreed to restructure the program and reduce the number of aircraft ordered from 210 to 120. The first production C-17 was delivered to Charleston Air Force Base in 1993, and the first operational squadron was declared ready in 1995. The aircraft proved its worth in various military operations and humanitarian missions around the world, such as Operation Joint Endeavor in Bosnia-Herzegovina, Operation Allied Force in Kosovo, Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, Iraqi Freedom in Iraq, Tomodachi in Japan, and Unified Response in Haiti. The aircraft also supported the Antarctic program by delivering supplies and personnel to McMurdo Station. In 1997, Boeing acquired McDonnell Douglas and continued to produce and support the jumbo carrier. The final C-17 was delivered to Qatar in 2015, bringing the total number of aircraft built to 279. The C-17 Globemaster III is a high-wing, four-engine, T-tailed military transport aircraft with a rear loading ramp. It has a length of 174 feet or 53 meters, a wingspan of 169 feet 10 inches or 51.75 meters, and a height of 55 feet 1 inch or 16.79 meters. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 585,000 pounds or 265,350 kilograms, and a payload capacity of 170,900 pounds or 77,519 kilograms. It can carry up to 102 troops or paratroopers, or up to 36 litter and 54 ambulatory patients in aeromedical evacuation configuration. It can also accommodate various vehicles and equipment, such as an M1 Abrams tank, three striker armored vehicles, six mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, or 18 pallets of cargo. The aircraft has a cruise speed of Mach 0.74, about 450 knots or 515 miles per hour, and a range of 2,420 nautical miles or 4,482 kilometers, with a payload of 160,000 pounds or 72,575 kilograms. It can also perform aerial refueling with both boom and drogue systems, extending its range and endurance. The C-17 has a minimum crew of three, two pilots and one loadmaster. It is equipped with advanced avionics and flight controls, such as two head-up displays, HUDs, four multifunction liquid crystal displays, LCDs, a digital electronic flight control system, EFCS, with mechanical backup, an integrated radio management system, IRMS, with communication system, open architecture, COSA, in a defensive countermeasures system, the aircraft is designed to operate from short and unimproved runways as well as austere airfields. It has a takeoff run of 7,600 feet or 2,316 meters and a landing run of 3,500 feet or 1,067 meters at maximum gross weight. It can also perform tactical maneuvers, such as backing up on the ground using its thrust reversers or performing steep approaches at low speed using its double-slotted flaps. The C-17 is powered by four Pratt & Whitney F-117 turbofan engines, which are based on the commercial Pratt & Whitney PW-2040 used on the Boeing 757. 
Each engine produces 40,440 pounds or 180 kilonewtons of thrust and has a bypass ratio of about 6 to 1. The engines are also fitted with noise-reducing chevrons on the exhaust nozzles to reduce the noise level of the aircraft. The aircraft is made of various materials, such as aluminum, titanium, steel, and composite materials. The fuselage and wing skins are mostly made of aluminum alloys, while the wing spars and ribs are made of titanium alloys. The landing gear and other structural components are made of steel alloys. The C-17 is not a conventional weapon platform, but rather a force multiplier that enables rapid deployment and sustainment of combat forces. However, it does have some features that enhance its survivability and effectiveness in hostile environments. The aircraft is equipped with a suite of electronic countermeasures, including radar warning receivers, missile warning systems, flare and chaff dispensers, and infrared countermeasures. These systems help detect and evade enemy threats, such as surface-to-air missiles and fighter jets. The Jumbo Carrier can deliver a variety of payloads by parachute or by gravity extraction. The aircraft can airdrop up to 102 paratroopers, 60 tons of cargo, or 21 each of 463-liter pallets in a single pass. It can also perform low-altitude parachute extraction system, LAPES drops, where the cargo is pulled out of the rear ramp by a parachute while the aircraft flies just above the ground. These methods allow the aircraft to deliver supplies and equipment to remote or inaccessible areas or to support special operations forces. The United States Air Force is exploring the possibility of using the C-17 as a weapons truck, where it would carry large bundles of munitions that could be airdropped over a target area. These munitions could include Joint Direct Attack Munitions JDAMs, Small Diameter Bombs SDBs, or Massive Ordnance Air Blast MOAB bombs. The concept is intended to provide a rapid and precise strike capability for high-value targets, such as enemy air defenses or command and control centers. This jumbo carrier has been extensively utilized in various missions across the globe, supporting both military campaigns and disaster relief initiatives. One notable operation was Operation Joint Endeavor, conducted between 1995 and 1996. During this time, the C-17 played a vital role in supporting a NATO-led peacekeeping mission in Bosnia-Herzegovina. It facilitated the transportation of troops, equipment, and supplies to locations including Sarajevo, while also executing airdrops of humanitarian aid to isolated areas and evacuating wounded personnel. In 1999, the aircraft was instrumental in Operation Allied Force, contributing to the NATO air campaign against Serbia over Kosovo. It delivered essential munitions, fuel, and personnel to bases in Europe and Turkey. Moreover, the C-17 conducted humanitarian aid airdrops to refugees in Albania and Macedonia, and played a key role in the evacuation of American prisoners of war from Belgrade. From 2001 to 2021, the C-17 was actively engaged in Operation Enduring Freedom. It facilitated the transportation of troops, equipment, and supplies to bases in Central Asia and Afghanistan. The aircraft's humanitarian role included airdrops of aid to Afghan civilians. Since 1999, the aircraft has been a key player in the U.S. Antarctic program, ensuring the delivery of personnel and cargo. The C-17 Globemaster III stands as an advanced and highly capable military transport aircraft, yet it exists within a landscape of competitors and counterparts. Among these alternatives are notable aircraft that can fulfill similar roles in missions. The Lockheed Martin C-5 Galaxy, the A400M Atlas, the Lockheed Martin C-130 Hercules, Airbus CN-235 C-295, and the AN-124 Ruslan. The maintenance of the C-17 Globemaster III is a complex and challenging task that requires the coordination and cooperation of various entities and personnel. The maintenance of the C-17 is divided into three levels. 
Organizational maintenance is performed by the operating units at their home bases or deployed locations. It includes daily inspections, servicing, minor repairs, and component replacement. Intermediate maintenance is performed by regional repair centers or mobile repair teams that provide specialized support for specific systems or components. It includes testing, calibration, overhaul, and modification of equipment and parts. Depot maintenance is performed by Boeing at its facilities in Long Beach, California, and San Antonio, Texas. It includes major repairs, refurbishment, upgrades, and modifications of aircraft and engines. The maintenance of the C-17 is also enhanced by the use of digital tools and analytics that provide data-driven insights and solutions for improving readiness and efficiency. The C-17 Globemaster III is expected to remain in service until around 2060, according to Air Mobility Command AMC, to ensure its continued relevance and effectiveness in the future operating environment. The aircraft will undergo various upgrades and enhancements over its lifespan. Some of the current or planned upgrades include Block 21 upgrade. This upgrade involves updating the avionics software and hardware of the aircraft to improve its compatibility with civil airspace requirements and enhance its communication and navigation capabilities. The Boeing C-17 Globemaster III stands as a testament to engineering excellence and the adaptability required to navigate both military and civilian operational landscapes. Its history, specifications, engineering innovations, missions, maintenance practices, and future prospects collectively contribute to its enduring legacy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, remember to give us a like so we can continue making content that you love. Thank you.